Hi, and welcome back to another episode of On the Rio with Chief Guzman. I'm Officer Janice Simon, one of the officers here with the City of Miami Springs Police Department. Chief Guzman, thank you for having us here today. Hi, Janice. How are you? Good. Questions that we received from residents that I wanted to ask you. So we'll start off with the first one. What tips or precautions do you recommend residents take during the holiday season? Well, there's several things. Uh, when you're shopping, when you're hosting a party, uh, or things of that nature. First, let's talk about when you're shopping. You know, be very cognizant, especially with ladies, of where they keep their wallets, their credit cards, their cash. Uh, careful using your credit cards. Make sure you monitor your, your uh, credit activity because it's high time and prime time for the scammers to be out there to try to, you know, somehow get uh, your credit card information. So monitor your, your um, credit bureau information, keep your receipts. Be careful uh, when you are walking around with your you know, bags and things like that. Don't go back to the car, put them in your car, and then leave uh, back to the stores. Because unfortunately, there's people out there that are just looking for that to break into your car and steal your purchases. A uh, second thing, you know, we have uh, customarily, unfortunately, what we call uh, the porch pirates. Mm -hmm. They sometimes have been known to follow the delivery trucks, UPS, the Amazons, the FedExes. They drop off packages. These people come back in snatch the packages so be careful when you're expecting packages maybe have a, another delivery location or maybe have a neighbor be on the lookout for you so be aware of that and the third thing and I think that's probably one of the most important ones is you're going to a party or you're hosting a party you know designated drivers um, have somebody that you know is not going to be drinking if you're hosting a party make sure you have uh, other transportation available for your guests um, individuals that maybe have had a little bit too much take their keys be a responsible party uh, host because that's very important unfortunately we see increases in, in, in accidents involving alcohol consumption during the holidays and you want to be a, a responsible party goer, goer but you also want to be a responsible host so those are some of the things that just come to mind very good tips okay and the next one get this uh, asked a lot how many officers do we have and how are they ensuring safety in our community during non-emergency calls or uh, scenarios okay we're budgeted for 45 officers we currently have two openings mm -hmm. and of those two openings a w one per se is almost committed because I'm, I have somebody in the police academy they just started in the police academy so uh, at the beginning of the year we'll have an additional opening because one of our officers is retiring uh, of the balance, we currently have five officers in training. They just graduated the academy uh, some three months ago, some as early as a month ago. Um, so once you graduate the academy, you don't automatically get your patrol car and go out and patrol. You have to go through a training phase, an internal one. Most, all departments have that. It's called a field training phase. It goes up to four months, and then they're released you know, based on their performance to, to patrol the streets. Uh, as far as what they're doing when they're not on a call, we have areas that we try to um, focus on. You know, our, our number one issue is traffic. Mm -hmm. So we try to focus on those areas as much as possible when they're not on a call. And if not, they patrol the neighborhoods, being on the lookout for certain areas and certain activities that we've had in the past and how that affects, you know, our communities and our, and our residents. And um, speaking of that, we also rely on the residents if they see something suspicious, of course, uh, of course. by all means give us a call. Of course, and, that's very know. important. We can't do this alone. It's a partnership with the community. And uh, another question that was asked, which uh, is right up my alley, is um, the community policing office. Uh, what is it? What are the hours? So the community policing office is a wonderful office. Uh, we're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 4. We have a variety of services that we offer. Uh, a lot of people call in for fingerprints. If you are a resident of Miami Springs or a business owner of Miami Springs, we can uh, digitally print out a fingerprint card for you. However, we do not submit it anywhere. That is, uh, we'll give you the card with the fingerprints. A lot of times residents come in just with questions, not really police related, but maybe something happened and they're not sure how to handle that. Uh, me and Officer Capote, the other officer in the office, and the assistant uh, Grace, uh, we have a lot of information we can share. We do the red light camera program. 
if you have any questions about that, by all means, give us a call and I'll give you any information that we can offer you. We do the D.A.R.E. program. We do three private schools, myself and Officer Capote. We teach the kids about drug abuse resistance education. Problem resolution, a lot of times the officers, they go to calls and it's uh, more time consuming than they can uh, handle at the moment. They refer the case to us and Officer Capote and I will try and resolve problems with neighbors or if um, barking dog is continuous things of that nature. Crime prevention, we do the social media. Please, if you're not already following us on Twitter or on Nextdoor, I highly uh, suggest you do that. I post a lot of excellent crime prevention information. We do special presentations. If you have Boy Scout or Girl Scout troop, you tell me what the presentation, as long as it's police related, and we'll come up with a program and be more than happy to present it to your group or organization. We're here for you again Monday through Friday, 8 to 4 in the Community Policing Office. So please continue sending these awesome questions in so Chief Guzman can answer them. And we'll see you next time on The Real with the Chief. And thank you very much. Happy holidays to all and a happy and healthy new year.